Hi Techie guys and I'm Kisa Sumami and today we will be learning about integrating chat GPT with Tiger Robotic. If you haven't heard about the chat GPT, so chat GPT is a kind of AI trained model by OpenAI and it can mimic almost everything as a human behavior and return the response. So let's get started. Uh, open up your uh, Tiger Studio. Create a new project. Give a meaningful name. So I'm going to give a name. Chat GPT with Tiger. You can give any name. Click on create. And first thing we, we need is uh, API detail of chat GPT to integrate it with Pega. So go ahead and open up your Chrome browser or Edge browser, whichever you prefer. Go to Google. Look for chat GPT. And hit enter. Open up the first link and here you can read about uh, chat GPT but what we gonna refer is API. So on the top you see the API key, uh, API button, just click on the API and here you can go to read documents. And on the top, you will see examples. If you click on the example, there are multiple options. So you can interact with ChatGPT as a question answer or grammar correction, or there are multiple options. You can choose any of these. So technically, you can do anything with ChatGPT as a human behavior. Uh, but what for our use case today, we will be just uh, giving a sentence to chat gpt to correct it grammatically so we will be utilizing uh, under the api references it is part of edit so if you go edit then you will see it's a post call for, uh, it's a kind of rest api post call so you need this url so i'll just note down uh not bad and copy this url make a post post call and another thing that we need is this input parameter i'll just copy these ones as well now we have minimum required things now we'll go back to our pega studio and go to global and look for rest so this is a kind of rest api so we'll use rest client under the rest first thing is name so name you can keep anything and then you see authentication so just click on the drop down and there are multiple authentication option but for uh, this particular rest api Authentication is through BRL, so we'll need the API key. So that API key, you can again go to Google and look for Chat GPT API key. Open up the first link. Just here you can see your API key. Or if you don't see the API key, just go ahead and click on create new. So it will create an API key. Or if it first goes to the login page, then you might need to log in on this page to create the API key. And the key, the one that I have copied, I'll just paste it here. And click on OK. So our authentication is done. Now 
to make this call if you go to the document it's a post call so next that we need to choose is HTTP method and there are multiple option again you need to choose a post and then input parameter so if you click on this three dot here you can add the input parameter so if you go back to the documentation and look at the input parameter here are the preferences the model input and instruction are the input parameters so I'll just copy model go here click on add and on the key enter model click add again and with input click add again and instruction so these are the three parameter uh, you can add n number of parameter here based on your requirements so I'll just also give the same uh, values so everything is without double quote and this input you can use anything based on your requirement And then the model. We can't. Okay. Now, next thing that we need is URL. So here you can see the URL option, and you need to first supply the base URL. So if you go back to the documentation, on the top you will see the URL. Just copy So base URL is still dot com and the rest thing will go under URI path. Now we are done with all, all the input things. Next thing that we can uh, check on it is uh, output. So how the output look like. So if you scroll it a little bit here and there, you will see the output parameter option here. You can click on this arrow and now you will see there's a post call and uh, we already supplied the input parameter. You can go ahead and click on validate. And here you can see the response. The response is uh, status code is okay. And this is all like returned value from uh, chat APT. So click on okay. So from API side, uh, we are all good. Uh, we have set up the REST client. Uh, all the input values are provided. Uh, you can go through the additional details as well. Uh, now go back to your project. Click on automation and go to toolbox and our uh, start uh, bot start trigger is uh, project load so i'm gonna choose project started and next thing that we need is we're gonna read the input value or the sentence from a notepad file uh, to have that corrected open up demo folder and my text file where i'll have some sentence that bot will read and return back the corrected sentence so i note it down here so first we'll go with the existing one which is there in the documentation and then we'll try with the new one I just enter the text here. I'll save it and close. And also copy the path of file. 
now we'll go back to our studio and we need a read read all text and click on submit connect these dots and to the path that we copied uh, the text file path without double quote now the result is just only the text value that was applied to the chat gpt and chat gpt gonna return us the corrected sentence now go to your uh, global um, palette and global now drag and drop your rest client this is the same rest client that we added under the project and the global now click on more under the more go to methods and execute with parameter execute with parameter has three option so the third one is the one that we are going to utilize so it will show all the input plus the output parameters so if you see these are the same input value that we added under uh, the dialog box uh, here uh, if you go to your global and if you go to the input on the top so whatever the input parameter you have added it here that will be displayed as an input value here as well in under execute parameter so we'll model is a kind of fixed value so we'll just enter it from chat gpt's documentation that we copied up or you can check it again here if you go to the documentation the model is the first one so this text value we are just copying and entering it under model and everything with should be without double code and the input input will be returned by our uh, text file now instruction so what we want the chat gpt to do is fix this spelling mistake So now we have given all the parameter and now we'll see what the output response look like so i'll just add a message box just connect the dots and we will be looking for response body I'll just add a breakpoint and run it. Go to step in by pressing F11. And here you can see the values. What day of, uh, if you go to the notepad and you see the same value is here. It's gonna supply as an input and now it's calling the rest api and here you can see the output and all the input parameters and the output one and now we'll see in the message box itself here the chat if it is return value so if you go back to the notepad and see what value we have supplied and what output we are having here so here you see the sentence was what day of the week week spelling is incorrect and in the response if you see the week spelling is corrected and the complete sentence is restructured if you want to see the output response code that code should be 200 which is okay and now click on okay now next thing this output is a kind of json stuff 
So we need to pass the JSON and get only the required thing. And before we pass, and let's see what our, how the output look like uh, one more time. So out of the JSON, we need choice. Okay, rest thing we don't need. So we'll in between messages. And here we'll use JSON parser. So search for JSON. And just we need get val. Here we'll connect the JSON parser. And the key value is choice or that response we can check it here as well I think yeah here yeah. I'll just copy and to return this response value. now if you connect the dots and check the response value and go ahead and run it. Go to step. Okay. Here now we should see only the response. If you want to check the another value or another sentence. Uh, let's go to the input file, uh, write something. Mm -hmm. Some more uh, incorrect sentence. I'll just write what is So I'll just write a new sentence and just cut. have the incorrect spelling here instead of A, I just enter the E. So now we have incorrect different sentence and let's see how our bot returns the value. We can step in. the response and here you see that today's spelling is corrected uh, if you want to compare it again go ahead and open up your text file look here so here we give an e and here it did have it has corrected to correct spelling so this is how you can uh, utilize any of ChatGPT's uh, capability with Paga Robotics. And if you want to go ahead and read out some more example in the document, that is all here uh, with all the detail. And here you can see what type of uh, AP calls you need to make, whether it post or get or any other. Uh, and what are capabilities that you can utilize with chat GPT, the documentation, you can go through these examples. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.